<coughs> what up, though, y'all? It is day two somebody, uh, of 90 days of changing my life. Hold on, let me pause this. I so I was watching uh, an episode of Social Proof Podcast. I'm a little bit behind, so I have to catch up. But yes, it is day two. I am currently eating some oatmeal. Yay. And um, yeah. So I woke up to some snow on the ground. I'm in Detroit and it's November, almost December. So of course there'll be snow. Um, I may have to go shovel a little bit. It wasn't a huge amount of snow, but it's enough that I don't want someone to slip and then try to sue me. <laughs> if they're walking past my house. Today, I am feeling good. Um, it's been sticking to my morning ritual in terms of staying up after Fodger. Well, sort of staying up, so let's be real, right? I get up for Fodger, and then I do my meditation, I do my affirmations, I read for, it's probably longer than 20 minutes because you know I'm into the book and I'm reading it, but what I found is that afterwards, specifically today, because it's a Saturday, not so much during the week, but since it's a Saturday and I don't have, I won't say I don't have anything to do, but I'm not really going anywhere, stuff like that, I went back and laid back down because I was like, eh, you know, I like to sleep in. I, let me tell you something. I enjoy sleep. I enjoy a good nap. I enjoy warm blankets, all of that, right? So I went and laid back down and I got up and... I was like, okay, mm, I didn't feel sluggish or anything, but at the same time, it was like nine o'clock and I was like, eh, I need to find other productive things to do. So I'm gonna figure that out. But nonetheless, I am up eating oatmeal today. What am I doing today? So um, I'm gonna probably do a quick shovel out in front of my house. Also, I am going to put up the pictures that needs to go on my gallery wall. I've been in this house, it'll be three years this December? Two years, three, it'll be almost three years, this, it'll be three years this December. And those pictures have been sitting on the steps this entire time. <laughs> Why I haven't put those things on the wall, I don't know, but I've been trying to figure out like what's been my apprehension to it. Like I bought more command strips um, I have like the picture hanging kits that I need for some of the bigger things, but why haven't I put that on the wall? And some of it has been because, oh, I want to paint the living room first and I want to do this first. But I think also it's linked to that fear, right? Like, oh, what if something happens, especially now, what if something happens and, um, I can't afford the house anymore. Like it goes back to that negative mindset. And that was something that I was journaling about last night, how my mind always goes to that negative, that, that negative outcome and trying to figure out why. And I think it's because a lot of us, or not, let me not speak for nobody else but myself, but there is a predisposition to plan for the worst, which turns into expect the worst. Like planning for a rainy day is one thing, but expecting the rainy day is something else. And when you're in that perpetual state of always waiting for the rain to drop, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm making a mess, hold on. So that's one of the things that I find has been, for me, um, maybe the most difficult is just combating that my mind going there because it automatically goes there like oh this person's not going to do this that's not going to happen why are you thinking that way Malika so that's probably the most difficult and it is just constantly just just constantly changing that mindset just shifting it like nope nope but just constantly reminding myself I'm in the process of transformation I'm in the process of transformation and um yeah I'm feeling pretty good about it so back to this wall, um, I have a lot of different pictures and posters and things I've accumulated over the years, especially when I was living in New York. And in my last apartment in New York, I had a hallway that went into like my studio and I had things on the wall. And so this, will go, this wall goes up the stairs 
to the second floor of my house. And so I'm really looking forward to getting it started. I'm still gonna have room for more things, which is fine, because I want to invest in more artwork, especially artwork by my friends. I wanna get um, the little lights that I've seen them on Amazon, that they're very light and they're battery powered or USB powered or whatever, but I wanna get some of those as well. I really feel like once I put those pictures up, for one, it'll clear off the stairs. Not saying I can't walk up and down the stairs, but I think I've become accustomed to those things being on the stairs. And I know there are some people who like to put things on their stairs artistically. They'll have, um, oh, my battery's getting ready to die. Hold on. And we're back. Uh, what was I saying? I gotta get some more ginkgo biloba in my diet because how did I just forget what I was talking about that? The stairs, Lord have mercy. So the stairs, I've seen people have like different small art art pieces like on the, on the outer regions of their stairs. And that's nice, but I think not for my house. Um, especially because I'll have a niece and nephew that come over and <laughs> I, don't, I don't need them breaking anything. So that's the goal for today. I am going to probably go clean off my sidewalk. I don't have a lot of sidewalks, so that's a blessing. I'm going to put my pictures up on the walls and I'm going to do some laundry. Oh, I was editing the video for yesterday and one thing I mentioned is that I said Fajr. If you don't know what that is, Fajr, Salat, Salat al Fajr is the morning prayer that we as Muslims make. And now it comes in uh, like 6.17, 6.18. So I just get up at 6.30 and start my day off um, with prayer because there are time frames that you can make prayer. So it's not like if you miss it at 6.17, you miss prayer. It doesn't work that way. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and get this day started. I'm gonna continue my, af get the day started. It is started, I'm eating. I'm gonna continue my af affirmations throughout the day. And um, maybe I'll bring you guys along as I'm putting up my gallery wall. Yeah? Nah, we'll see. <laughs> One eternity later. All right, so it's 3.30. And um, <laughs> I still haven't put um, anything up on the wall, not one picture frame. I um, folded some clothes and then I started watching the boondocks. And then the sun goes down around 4.30, which means it'd be dark. And I like to film with natural light. And basically I'm just giving a bunch of excuses not to do something I said I was gonna do. <laughs> but see, that's the thing. Is it an excuse because I don't wanna do it or am I just comfortable watching the boondocks right now? And I know that tomorrow is Sunday and I can get up and do it tomorrow. Because I didn't have to go shovel the snow. It actually um, wasn't enough and it's it's melted on the sidewalk, so we're good. Although maybe I should put some salt down. But that's all. That's just me coming <laughs> to let y'all know that I, in fact, did not put any pictures on the wall. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so editing Malika here. Um... While I was editing, I realized that I forgot to mention that um, in addition to folding clothes, I did fold two out of three bags, but I also sat down and went back over some of the goals I wanted for 2025. So I know a lot of times people like to wait until like December 31st or January 1st to write out their goals for the year, but they started coming to me. I said, let's start writing them down. Um, if anyone owns a business, you know, you deal with quarters, Quarter four is almost done, so you're already looking to quarter one of 2025. But in addition to writing out my goals, one thing that I'm doing this year that in previous years I haven't done is I am writing out how I'm going to achieve each goal, right? So that's been interesting. I got halfway through it because I have not lofty goals, but I've got some serious goals. And so, I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll share them with you guys. Or maybe I'll just wait till they come into fruition and be like, this was a goal. But nonetheless, just adding that to the things that I've, that I've accomplished for the day as part of changing my life. I wrote out my goals and I also wrote out how or halfway, half of them. I still have a few more to finish how I'm going to achieve those goals. Um, so, yeah, that's the that's the it for updates. I'm going to upload this video to the timeline. It's scheduled for tomorrow, and I will see you guys on day three.